Welcome. Today is Monday, May 18th, and we have the pleasure of speaking with Chris Andrews, Director of Operations for Sportsbook, South Point, Las Vegas. Chris, welcome. Hey, thanks, Howard. Thanks for having me on. Thank you. I imagine it's very exciting to be back at it in some manner. I know mobile wagering is what you're handling right now, and it sounds like there's the distinct possibility that physical casinos and sports books will be opening the first part of June. Is that what you're hearing? That, that is what I'm hearing. We're preparing for that possibility, and uh, I, for one, am certainly hoping that's the case. Well, you've certainly got a lot of experience in this business. Um, you wrote a tremendous book uh, that many of us in the industry and others have read uh, called Then One Day, 40 Years of Bookmaking in Nevada. And um, did you know in the early days when you were up in uh, Lake Tahoe in Reno and cutting your teeth here in Las Vegas that you would one day get a book out of all this stuff? <laughs> No, I wish I did. I'd have taken better notes, you know, but uh, there's a few stories I forgot that uh, I'm working on another book right now. And uh, um, I don't want to give away too much, but I'm going to try to get as many of those stories in as I can in this other book. Uh, it's going to be a lot different, but it'll still be a lot of first person accounts of what's going on in the business. So it won't necessarily be a, a 2.0 continuation of that book. It'll go no, in a different direction. No, def definitely not. But uh, I, I think if you like the first book, you'll probably like the one I'm working on right now. That's fantastic. And being that, you know, having to be an author is sort of um, takes in a lot of reflection um, on a more serious note. How would you reflect the last two months and, and how zany it's been? Well, I think I don't can't remember who I was talking to. I didn't even know it was going on the record, but somebody asked me about it. And I said, you know, I don't think I would have been more shocked at where we are unless we got invaded by aliens from outer space and they took us over. I mean, that's, I, I don't know that I could be more surprised. Um, you know, I know there's always contingencies and people think of different things, but I certainly never thought of this, of where we are right now. You know, we, we've dealt through strikes of pretty much every major sport, um, you know, serious injuries to certain guys. You know, I hate to even bring it up, but even uh, plane crashes, that sort of thing, but never like a worldwide experience like we're having right now. Just n never anything like it. And, uh, you know, hopefully we never experience it again. Yeah, that's what I keep telling my kids. If this is the worst thing or this should be the worst thing that ever happens to you in, in life, it's, it's really tough. Um, you know, they say that the only thing constant is change. But when it comes to a certain regional casino entertainment operating company, Nobody has been like Michael Gone and staying, all those cliches about staying in your lane, knowing what you know. Uh, your group continues to just do what you do best. And what do you attribute that to? You know, it's funny. I was thinking about it recently. Actually, Jimmy and I, Jimmy Vaccaro and I were talking about it the other day. I started working for Michael in 1980, you know, so 40 years ago. And at the time, you didn't realize Michael was a pretty young man. He was about... I, I'm not even sure how old Michael is right now, but he was in his mid thirties at the time. And, uh, you know, there's, there's knowledge and then there's wisdom. And I, I think Michael is one of those guys that was really blessed with both. And, and he grew up with Jackie, uh, his father and uh, a lot of Jackie's associates. So he tapped into that knowledge, but he also had the wisdom too. And uh, even to this day, I, I, I personally believe uh, he's the best casino operator in the world. And um, I believe there's times Michael and I disagree on things, but uh, guess who wins those battles, uh, Howard? Uh, but in all honesty, I have to yield to him because he really is, uh, I mean, he's a brilliant guy and he's really a nice guy. And uh, I think I'm lucky to, first of all, hook up with a guy that's that smart, but also a good guy. I mean, Michael's just a good hearted human being and, uh, I'm very proud to be associated with him all these years. I have a very similar situation in my current position, and that's with Bill Paulos, who's also a former casino operator on a regional local level, both here and in other regions. And same thing, just so much institutional knowledge, but so loyal. I think his greatest attribute is his loyalty. And, and that's why the people that have been around him have been around so long. And, and it seems like that's the case at South Point. It's infectious. And, you know, I've spoken to people in all departments at South Point, and then I'll hear 24 years, 28 years, 30 years. It's incredible. Some guys with 40 years. And I, I left Michael in 1981, and he recommended me for another job at Calneva in Reno uh, with um, 
Warren Nelson, who was a very good friend of Jackie gone and Warren, I mean, and, uh, you know, Michael obviously knew him too. And uh, Michael pointed me in that direction. So um, I'm sure part of him, <clears throat> excuse me, wanted to keep me around, but part of him also knew that it was the best thing for me personally, for my career. And he sent me on my way. Right. Like to set your children free type of yeah, thing. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. yeah, no, it's great. It's great. Um, and it's even more cool because when you think about South Point, it's not one of these corporate bloated, no offense to, to those folks, because business just evolves. And sometimes, you know, it spins out of control and it becomes corporate and it becomes um, run by people that haven't been in this business a long time. He's never left that lane, which is amazing. Yeah. What, what I like about it is if, if we, if Jimmy or I, or one of our staff, if we want to do something, we come up with a new idea or we want to try a different way of operating. You know, we run it by either Michael or our general manager, Ryan Growney, and we get an answer usually in a few minutes, you know, right. we don't have to run through corporate and six layers of management and then they have to call the lawyers and everything else. I mean, it, it just doesn't work that way. And I'm, I'm very happy to be in a situation like that. Right. And people need to understand that it's not that the property and everything else you guys do remains old school and you don't stay up with the times because you guys do. You have a sports betting app. You have a kiosk, um, many kiosks. You've put in the VEASAN studio, which has been phenomenal. So there are things that you guys are always keeping up with, along with just the older school, older operating mentality. Well, I think that's, uh, you know, Michael's not afraid to try new things and, uh, talking about Michael's age, but Ryan Brown, he's a young man. I'm not even sure he's 40 yet. You know, so, you know, Ryan has um, sort of that young person's mentality about a lot of technology and, uh, and kind of a, uh, a fresher view of the, of the business and kind of where it's going. So uh, together they make a great team. And, uh, you know, again, I'm very happy to be part of it. Right. And speaking of apps, um, we're seeing some of the competitors here in Las Vegas, venture outside to other jurisdictions, Colorado, the latest. Um, is that something that you guys consider and discuss with your brand? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we're, in, um, we're in Oregon right now, in a very nice casino, Chinook Winds. Uh, we're in two places in, uh, in New Mexico. Um, you know, we had plans, but you know, <laughs> so did everybody. <laughs> yeah, this whole thing, uh, yeah. put a, we got enough to worry about uh, just at home right now. So we certainly want to expand our brand and get into uh, other jurisdictions. We want to do it right. Uh, we want to partner with the right people. And, um, you know, I mean, all those do present challenges, but, uh, you know, we, we think we are up for the challenge and the, the, the places that we have uh, our sports books, they're very happy with us. And, uh, you know, hopefully we can get a few more. Right. And take New Jersey, for instance, with 20 to 25 operators. I mean, would entering a market like that be something that would be wise at this point, or is it already flushing itself out? Well, I mean, that's a good question. I think, uh, I think what you're seeing right now, um, I'm, reminding, I'm reminded of like um, maybe the late 90s, early 2000s. We had so many internet companies, um, and how many of them went broke? Food.com, toys.com. Oh, like, e-toys. I remember right. that one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of them went broke. So I think um, we, we have to get in the right situation. We have to be careful who we partner with. Uh, you know, like Michael always tells me, he says, Chris, if this is all we have. That ain't so bad. <laughs> and I'm with Michael. It ain't so bad. True. Uh, so but true. For sure, you know, you always have to look for uh, opportunities as they present themselves. But uh, we're, we're certainly not desperate. And uh, we'd like to get into them. I personally would love to get into them, but uh, we have to do it right. We have to do it properly. I think that there will be a shake. I mean, it's unquestionable. There will, there will be a shake out in the business. I mean, just. There's always a trish. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, go back a hundred years ago, how many car companies were there in America? Mm -hmm. Right. Like what, three? Right. You know, I mean, you know, that's, that's what happened. Airlines. Meanwhile, everybody has a car or right. two. You know, right. so, but the, the companies themselves, that, that all shook out. So I think there will be a shakeout. It's, it's a matter of time. And, uh, you know, actually John gone, Michael's son, uh, and Jay Vaccaro, Jimmy's nephew, they're spearheading that effort. So uh, I think uh, the future for us in that regard is, is very bright, but we're going to be careful who we get into business with. Right. And those would mostly be partnerships as opposed to an autonomous operator. Uh, 
I think anything's on the table at this point, but that's the way it's been so far as partnerships. Sure, sure. Now, I think South Point is one of the last places that has separated race and sports. Um, the, the race people are a different uh, type of crowd and, and they are doing their thing every 20 to 30 minutes with races as opposed to the sports. I personally, who am a horse player, like that much better. It feels a lot better than everything being combined. Well, yeah, <laughs> especially when you get Saturday and Sunday because those sure. are big days in both um, both uh, niches, you know, uh, and it just it, I, I I like the way we do it. I think, again, Michael has been uh, a visionary in that regard because originally it was one. And then when we expanded the South Point, however many years ago that was, uh, he, he decided to do that. And I think that was a very smart move on his point because uh, I, I know our race business has been very steady through the years, uh, even though uh, industry-wide it has declined, yeah. but ours has held pretty strong. And, uh, you know, our sports business has uh, increased every year. And, uh, well, probably not this year, <laughs> but it'll probably be down a little bit right. this year. Uh, but, you know, other than that, it's yeah. increased every year, and uh, I, th I think you'll continue to see that trend, and I think that's a part of it, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Well, listen, thanks so much for doing this. We love being partners. Uh, Gaming Today really values this relationship with South Point. Um, you guys blow through our printed publication when it gets there on Wednesday, and it, it's a compliment uh, to us, and uh, we appreciate all the support. Yeah, I get guys that come in like after, uh, you know, a couple hours after. Is, are you out of gaming today? Hey, man, I'm sorry. What can I tell you? You got to get here early. I, I, I try to save one or two, but, uh, you know, if I don't know you, you're, you're not going to get that one or two. Well, yours truly is usually taking him out of his trunk on Fridays to replenish. I know. But I know. it's, we, it's we with great joy. <laughs> we appreciate it, Howard. We really do. Thanks, Chris. All the best. All my, hey, my pleasure. Thanks for okay. calling. Okay. Take care.